Hey everyone, I'm Newbyte, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to play Pissagon 3D on PC. And you guys probably saw some videos on YouTube that Pissagon 3D is on PC. But it was only on NeoGG, which developers made a test version for that, but it just sucks. Like, cut at 30 FPS and terrible resolution and massive input lag, this makes Pissagon 3D unplayable. But, you know the best way to play Pissagon 3D on PC? Emulators. But first of all, this requires you to be signed in in Google Play. So if you are an iOS user, you cannot play Pissagon 3D on PC. I'm sorry, because this is only for Android. So if you are an Android user, I do recommend uh, using Bluestacks 5 and Bluestacks 4 just to play Pissagon 3D. The reason why is because these emulators are the best for Pistagon D. So Bluestacks 5 is better than Bluestacks 4 because better performance. But Bluestacks 4 is has something that makes it one of the best and also and it's because it's capable of ignoring Pistagon 3D's FPS limits. So if you want to play Pistagon D then at more than 60 FPS, then play Bluestacks 4. But I'll make a video on that soon, so stay tuned for that. So let's talk about how we can set up these emulators. So now we are here in Bluestacks 4. So we go to settings. As you can see, the CPU, you, have, you should be using the CPU that your CPU has. Like if I have a 6 core CPU, I use 6 cores. And you should allocate 4 gigabytes of RAM. That's the best thing you can do to get the maximum performance from Pistagon 3D. So if you want to see how much cores your CPU has, just go to Stack Manager and go to Performance. Then go to CPU and you'll see how much cores you have. So at this point I have 6 cores. So I use 6 cores. So for graphics engine, I use performance and graphics render to OpenGL. It gives more FPS than DirectX. And GPU settings, you should turn it on. In ASD texture, it should be hardware decoding. And for FPS, even you're gonna enable high frame rates, basically it will be capped at 60 FPS, so it's pretty useless. And if you want to see how your Pistagon D is performing, you can display FPS during gameplay, so you can see your FPS. And if you want to turn it off, go back, open the settings again, and turn it off. And for the display, if you want to have a good image quality for your gameplay, then you can set up to the native resolution of your monitor. And if, if you want to get more performance from your game, then use lower resolutions, like say, you can use you can use this and this. Yeah, you can get more FPS from that. So yeah. There's nothing you can do over here. There's nothing you can do. So yeah. I recommend doing this. And now let's try to play Pixel Gun 3D. You ha it should be you can get it by installing it on Google Play by signing in to your Google Play account and install it. So Pixelgon 3D has opened and I'll show you guys how to set up your controls because I see most of the players who try to play Pistol Gun 3D on PC have a lot of struggles with these. So I really gonna make a very important video on this. Okay. Please stop. Alright, so if you go to advanced mode, I do recommend uh, using advanced mode if you wanna be a skilled player in PC or, or else just playing it on PC is literally useless. So go to custom layout and I'll show you guys how to set up controls for yourself. So let's say if we want to make a setting over here. So we go to default, 
I'll make a new so you go to controls editor over here and I'll just make a new a brand new one just to make an example for you so if you come here this is where I think most of you guys are going to be struggling with so basically about this this is a very important thing this thing at this point I'm gonna use a uh, this thing, this sign, because I'm very used to it, and I'll I'll use one because I'm pretty used to it. Yeah, just you can put it anywhere. You can put it anywhere like, like this, but then the important thing over here is is to make sure that the tweaks should be and should be this because. The reason why is because if your tweaks is if your tweak is zero, then you cannot look like at full angle. You'll only be looking at 180 angle, but you cannot look at full. So do this. And some of you guys are probably uh, and some of you guys are probably struggling with the controls over here. Like where is the mouse? Where is the left mouse? Because I want to shoot. So basically just touch this icon, just touch this icon, enable, and then put it on the shoot button right here. And if you want to make a new button over here just to make a demonstration for you. So basically we have like right click ready, but if we go here to tab spot, make a new one, just this is for reloading, I'm going to make it R. And for jumping, I'll make it space. And for this, uh, since I have a um, mouse with two extra buttons, I would like to use like... Maybe if you're a PC, you can, you can set it as anything you want. I do not really like let you use something that I use. Just use anything you want that makes you... That makes you gonna be able to get used to it. What I'm used to basically is uh, X button 2, and for this is T, I don't know about this, yes, T for for tool, and this is for throwing, throwing gadget, and this is for support gadget. And these 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, this is different from Pistagon 2D on mobile, so you'll basically be pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, on your keyboard to switch your weapons and I'm gonna be honest with you over here three cat spamming is more difficult than on mobile when you're speaking of PC because getting used to these one two three four five six uh, switching is more difficult like it will take you more time to train your muscle memory for this so be aware of this and for movement, you can just put the D-pad over here. Make it make it as big as the joystick, and boom, we got our controls ready. And now, if you go to training ground, you can play as good as possible. You have to you have to make sure that you click. You have to click on the button over here, which is for aim, pan, and shoot. So you can be able to aim, or else your game is only going to be difficult to play, and yeah, you're not going to be able to enjoy this game, because you're going to miss a lot of shots. But there are some tricks, however, because now, now that you are on PC, you are missing something very important. If you, wanna, if you put a jump button to the left side of your screen, Especially for this, I do prepare. I do prefer doing this as well, like, like this for example. If I want to put these all the way, all the way there. So I, why did I do this? Is because if I click on these buttons, then, then I, I won't stop shooting. But instead, I will be able to keep shooting, and this will give you a good advantage when it comes to use, using automatics. So I, I recommend this a lot. I absolutely recommend this. And now we got a perfect controls. Now we got perfect controls and everything feels playable. <coughs> so 
So if you enjoyed this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace out.